Hi. Welcome to another breathing session. This is a lovely practice today. Very relaxing. The humming bee breath. First sit up straight. Close your eyes. Let's check in on how we're feeling. Feeling the body as it sits here in a simple moment. Is it relaxed? Comfortable? And feeling your breathing, your resting breath. A little bit in, a little bit out. Is it also relaxed and comfortable? And checking your mind. Is it relaxed? and comfortable? And then through the mouth, have a big breath in and a deep sigh. Now the humming bee breath is a really lovely practice for calming and what you do is you create a vibration around the head area so it's literally a massage of the muscles of the head and face and neck. I'll show you. You breathe in slowly till full. Hold for a few seconds which we've been doing and then humming like a bee. Give it a go through your nose. Slowly breathe in towards full. Hold the breath for a few seconds. And then like the sound of a bee, quite high pitched, try to hum nice and steady. Mm. Lengthen that note, keep going. Feel how there's a vibration around the head and particularly the forehead and sinus area. And finishing now, close your eyes, relax. Through the mouth, have a sigh. <sighs> Feel around your head forehead, eye socket area, cheekbones. We're going to have a really good massage here of the face and head, which you should find relaxing and therapeutic. This is ideal for headaches, migraines, and even concussion. But with concussion, we'd want to do it very gently. Okay, open your eyes. So, remember, when the mind is getting really, really intense and tight, you are tightening all across this area and even around the neck. And that's why people get headaches and migraines, usually because they're getting really obsessive, wound up, and they're not finding release. So this is a very good practical tool. We're going to try another round. And try this time to do it as long as you can and Keep it consistent, the pitch, the sound, and the strength of the breath. We want to lengthen it as much as we can and get it all the way down to the bottom of the breath. I'll do it with you. If you finish earlier than me, just close your eyes and relax. But also listen to how I'm doing it and see if you can pick up some hints there. Okay, breathe in through the nose. 
Hold full for four counts. And then when you're ready, Relax around the head area. So when we're doing this hum, we're creating a pressure, a vibration through the bones of the head and all the muscles attached to these bones are being softly massaged. It's so simple. Now you can do this very strongly or very mildly. And we want to look at that range and develop skill. Okay, so let's do another round, but this time I want you to do it quite strongly, quite loudly. Not super intense, but more strong than you've been doing. Just so you can feel that different gradient. Okay, let's do it together. Hold for a few seconds. Mm. Relaxing afterwards, there's a very soothing type of feeling afterwards when we release the pressure. Okay, open your eyes again. So now let's try the same type of pitch, the same high sound like a B, but this time try to do it really gently, at the opposite end of the scale to the last round, almost as though you're breathing more slowly. Let's do it together. Hold. Okay, so it was much more gentle and a better way to do the practice. Don't force things right at their maximum. Learn to drop them back significantly so that you are minimizing your effort or action, sustaining a practice in the most minimal way. And that is the real skill here. Okay, so we've been doing a higher pitch type sound, like a B. You can explore that. 
But now we want to move to what I consider a much more beautiful version of this technique, where we drop the pitch from high down to low. And then we're getting much more down into the throat. Try it now. Put your fingers very gently, lightly over the throat area and then do a very low hum. You should feel the vibration. So, this is an excellent practice for the thyroid, anyone who has thyroid problems. This is a balancing, regulatory type practice. But you must not do this strongly, it must be done gently, softly, smoothly. Now, another thing to explore is the vibration through the jaw and teeth area. So, I'll show you what I mean. Now, if you have your teeth just very gently touching, but they're still allowed to shake and vibrate, that's the perfect way to do it. I'll show you again. You want to feel the vibration through the chin and cheekbones as well as the teeth and gums. Just try that. The teeth are touching very lightly. Don't tighten around the jaw. Okay, so let's do a full round. Breathe in slowly through the nose. Hold for four. And let's try to create as much vibration as possible. Relaxing afterwards, feeling the effects. Now, maybe you might have noticed that perhaps it's harder to go for longer, a longer breath when you have a lower pitch sound versus a high sound. So that's because it's a thinner breath up here, but it's a much more open breath down here. And so you might have a bit less time with that breath, it doesn't go as long. But you can improve that, and that's what we want to do. We want to lengthen that breath as long as possible, getting right down low into the lower abdominal area, which we looked at in the previous session. So if you can, also be aware of running the breath from below the belly button as you breathe in, as you breathe out, and sitting comfortably there with a nice little vibration here, and also a little bit through the jaw and cheekbones. Let's try it again. Let's try and get a really nice smooth sound and a long breath. Holding first. Mm. Okay, hopefully you're starting to feel more relaxed. I am. And really, it depends how well you're doing this and if you can create that smoothness 
and effortlessness. It's like you're sitting back in the practice, in the vibration. It's so effortless that it's just purring along. And um, a good metaphor I like to apply for this is the idea of a car that's sitting at the traffic lights in idle. It's purring. But it's not being pushed. You're not pushing the accelerator. So you're not pushing the hum. You're just sitting back with it. Try that idea. Keep exploring. Keep testing. Keep focusing on how much vibration you're creating without overdoing it. We want to minimize the effort. Okay, let's try it again. Relaxing afterwards. <sighs> All right. Now, we're going to do about three minutes more where you just do consecutive rounds. We've been doing single rounds and stopping after each round. But now I want you to try to continue to go again and again and tie them together and just relax into a nice easy rhythm. So maybe don't think too much about this, just find a nice comfortable type of sound and relax and just enjoy this beautiful breathing technique. Okay, so just go at your own pace, we'll do it together. We might be ringing out at different times, it doesn't matter. And just imagine that it's a beautiful sound very soothing. Okay. Make sure that you hold at the top for four counts each time.
last round. Take your time. When you have finished, have a deep sigh. Feel the beautiful effects of that internal massage of your whole head, throat and neck. Hopefully you feel nice and relaxed. So, if you've got time now, at the end of this session, maybe do five minutes of it. But then on another day, try to do 20 minutes. That's when it's really going to have an effect. A very calming practice, excellent breath work with breath retention, nice long deep breaths, smoothness, and the vibrating, the massaging of the head is a really great way for you to release tension and stress. That which is created by the mind and which then can be soothed. So there's something for you to do, particularly if you've had a very full on day, you feel very stressed, angry, frustrated or anxious, you could try it. But if you do 20 minutes, remember Lie down and have a rest afterwards. That's so vital to absorb the full benefits of the practice, to recover and restore, to clear away the tension, to process the release. And also don't forget to drink water afterwards. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care.